Hey, what's up? Noiseworks here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my skin retouching. So basically, taking a photo like this and turning it into something like this. So that's before, after. And one thing you want to keep in mind too is the higher quality of the image that you take and the better lighting. I took this with a Canon 5D Mark II, and I had one softbox right here pointing this way. I actually have two lighting, one softbox right here and another one right here. All right, so let's get started. Let's uh, duplicate the original layer. If you're on a Mac, Command-J, PC, Control-J. So with this layer selected, go to Filter. And the filter I'm gonna be using is Topaz Detail 2. And if you go to the website, I believe the plugin is $39.99, so $39.99. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm gonna uh, have the link on the description. If you're watching this on my website, I'm gonna have the link below the video. So, all right. On the left hand side, you can see there's all these presets. Let's uh, zoom in first. Zoom in 100%. And if you click on the preset, you can see. But the one I like using is interior strong detail. And on the right hand side, you can see there's all the adjustment for the small detail, medium detail, large detail. But usually with this, I don't really change much. So let's click OK. All right, let's zoom in 100%. So that's before, after. And what I do next now is basically clean up all the blemishes on the face and spots that too blown out, like right here on the cheeks, the nose. And the way I clean that up is I use the patch tool and I zoom in just like around the area move it to a different area let's clean that you don't want that to duplicate that clean this this Go down here. All right, and you see this spot right here is close to the edge. So if you was to select it like this, you still have that dark area. So what you want to do is I'm gonna click undo, Command Z. You want to select all of it like this. And when you bring it up, make sure everything is aligned. And that's pretty much it. Clean up this area. Have that selected. All right, so let's see the before, after. All right, so the next adjustment layer Let's create a new layer. Go down here, click on new layer, and then come over here. Type in 127, tap 127, tap 127. You want to have that gray. Click OK. And for shortcut on the Mac is Alt Delete. You'll fill it in. Alright, so now what you want to do is, with this layer still selected, go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and I like to do anywhere from 7 to 10%, but this looks good, so let's keep it at that, click OK, and then on Blending Mode, click Soft Light. So now what you want to do is, 
on this layer you want to clean up the skin some more with the smudge tool so come over here on the smudge tool make sure the strength is on 20 percent and let's zoom in So now what you want to do is just start smudging the skin. One thing to keep in mind too is when you smudge the skin, make sure you go with the curve of the face. So right here I would kind of smudge it like this. And right here I would smudge it like this. And it's a small area. So basically go with the go with the structure of the face. So basically you just want to get the skin, you don't have to get all these little stuff. Come down to the neck. See arrows like this, smudge that. And I'm increasing the brush and decreasing it just using so you don't have to touch up everything just the spots that looks like you need to be touched up And also the other shortcut I'm using to bring up the hand to is spacebar. Spacebar. Once you you gotta hold the spacebar to drag it, but once you let it go, it goes back to the brush tool or whatever tool you're using at the moment. Let me show you what this adjustment does to the picture. So if you disable it, you can see this is all uh, plastic looking and then right here is all uh, you still see the texture so what this does is add a little bit of noise to it so everything blends in Let me clean this up real quick alright clean up some more oops undo that make sure you have the right layer selected before you start smudging alright let's zoom out so alright the next layer I want to add or next adjustment layer I want to add is the hue and saturation so you go down here hue saturation and blending mode soft light I just give it that more contrast look, but to me this is too strong. So what I'm do is lower it down. So I'm gonna bring, bring it up till something looks good. Just need a little bit. All right, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit so I'm have that layer selected. Zoom in, smudge tool. looks good looks better also I'm gonna clean this spot over here I'm gonna zoom in smudge to select it clean that up zoom back out so that's pretty much it that's how I do my skin retouching um, if you have any question any comments please leave it below the video and next week I'm gonna be showing you guys how I crop out his photo and add a new background.